Sonnet 16 But wherefore do not you a mightier way make war upon this bloody tyrant time, and fortify yourself in your decay with means more blessed than my barren rhyme? Now stand you on the top of happy hours and many maiden gardens yet unset, with virtuous wish would bear your living flowers, much likelier than your painted counterfeit. So should the lines of life that life repair, which this time's pencil or my pupil pen neither in inward worth nor outward fair can make you live yourself in eyes of men. To give away yourself keeps yourself still, and you must live, drawn by your own sweet skill. Shakespeare's Sonnet 16 continues the theme of immortalizing the young man, but it shifts back from poetry as a means of preservation to procreation. The poet argues that while his verse can give life to the young man's external beauty, it cannot capture or convey the essence of his inner qualities and virtues. Shakespeare asserts that having a child is a more effective way to ensure the young man's living image and qualities are passed down through generations. He emphasizes that a biological child will be a more accurate and living portrayal of the young man, carrying not just his physical likeness, but also his internal spirit and character, something that words alone cannot encapsulate. <laughs> 